All right, so this is two, three, solving inequalities using multiplication and division. Solving uh, inequalities using addition and subtraction, that was easier. That didn't involve any tricks. Okay, we would just add or subtract number from both sides, and we didn't have to do anything to the sign. Here, we're going to have to break this up into two parts. One where we are multiplying or dividing by a positive number, then ones where we're multiplying and dividing by a negative number. So today we're just going over uh, the first part, really. All right, so we have, for the first one, 4B is greater than or equal to 36. So the key here is the four is positive. So when I divide by four, I get B is greater than or equal to nine. So I'm going to put nine in the center. We have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, eight, seven, six, five, four. It's going to be a closed circle at the nine, and I'm eating the B, so I'm shading to the right. For B here, okay, I'm going to divide by three. Now, here's the thing. The three is positive. What I'm dividing by is positive. So even though I get a negative answer here, I don't have to worry about any trickery. So I have negative eight in the center, negative six, negative four, negative 10, negative 12. So I made my number line. I'm gonna have a closed circle at negative eight. I'm not eating the X, okay? So I'm shading to the left. For C, now notice I'm dividing here, so I'm going to have to multiply by eight. So these cancel out, and I have X is greater than negative 40. So I'm gonna put negative 40 in the center, and then I'm gonna write negative 30, negative 20, and then we're gonna have negative 50, and negative 60. So there we go. This is going to be an open circle at negative 40. I'm eating the X, so I'm shading to the right. For D, okay, this involves a fraction, so I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, which is five over one. These cancel. I have W is less than or equal to Negative six times five is negative 30, divided by one is negative 30. So I'm gonna put negative 30 in the center, negative 20, negative 10. If you wanna set up your graph a different way, feel free to do so. So we have a closed circle of negative 30. I'm not eating the variable, so I'm shading to the left. Now let's turn the page and let's look at the other part of this. The other part is what happens when I divide by a negative here? And this is kind of tricky, okay? So first thing is um, I'm gonna kind of do it wrong. I'm gonna do it incorrectly, so don't copy this down. The reason why I'm gonna do it incorrectly is because I wanna show you why we have to flip our sign. Okay, so when we deal with these negatives, okay, like I just said, we're going to have to flip our sign. But here's what happens if you don't flip it. So let's go ahead and do it like normal. So hopefully you're sitting back and relaxing while I do this. And we have y is less than or equal to negative five. Okay, so I come up here, I'm gonna make my graph negative five, uh, negative three, one, negative seven, negative nine. Now, our graph here says closed circle at negative five, and I'm not eating the Y, so I'm going to shade to the left. But here's the thing, with inequalities, the solution, my graph is any answer, All right? There's multiple answers here. So if I take a number that is in my graph and plug it in, I should get a true statement. So I'm gonna take this number right here, which is negative 10. So I'm gonna say, well, 
this should work when y is negative 10 because that's underneath my graph. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to do, all right, negative 7 times negative 10. And this should be less than or equal to 35. But negative 7 times negative 10 is 70. Well, wait a second. That's not true. 70 isn't less than 35, which means I made a mistake somewhere. Well, I know 35 divided by negative 7 is negative 5. And I know here that I created my graph correctly based upon what my answer was, y being less than or equal to negative 5. But here's the thing. With this, well, let's kind of go backwards from here. If negative 10 wasn't an answer, and that was on my left-hand side, well, what if I took a point over here? What if I took that number, zero? Okay, notice that's to the right. So let's take zero and plug it in. Negative seven times zero, and I'm seeing if that's less than 35. Well, wait a second, it is less than 35. So zero, which happened to be on the right, was less than it was a solution, which meant here, when I was doing my problem, I made a mistake somehow. So why had to be greater than negative five? So here's the thing, and this is what you can copy down, okay? So get ready to copy this down. When you divide by a negative, you must flip your sign. You must flip your sign, because if you don't, your answer is going to be wrong. So when you divide by a negative, all right, you must flip the sign. And yes, those are correct mathematical terms. So in A, I divided by a negative. Notice my negative, my negative seven there, all right? I flipped my sign, I got a true answer. But in B, when I multiply by negative five, I also have to flip my sign. So now I have x, flip your sign, is greater than or equal to 25. So I have 25, let's go to 30, 35, 20, 15. Now we have a closed circle at 25, and we are going to shade to the right. If you don't believe me, you can check it, all right? Let's look at C. Well, C, I have a fraction. So in order to get rid of a fraction, I must multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply by negative 10 over 1. Negative 10 over 1. Uh-oh, that number is negative. Flip your sign. So I have negative 10. Flip my sign. is less than or equal to Z. So Let's do this a different way setting up my graph because I know some of you might not like it. So some of you like to put zero in the middle. So I'm gonna put 10 here, negative 10 here, okay? Now I have a closed circle at negative 10. I'm eating the Z, so I'm gonna shoot to the right. Just a different way to do the problem. All right, now I have several you try problems. So you guys go ahead and do it. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to uh, do the prompts on my own. So please hit pause and I'll work through these on your own time. All right, here I will divide by 1.5. Notice I'm not dividing by a negative, so I don't have a reason to flip my sign. 1.5. In the negative 18, well, let's see, I believe that is, is uh, negative 12. All right, so I'm gonna put zero in the middle, 12 here, negative 12 here. 
It's an open circle at negative 12. I'm eating the cube, so I'm going to be shading to the right. Okay. Now let's look at number two. In order to get rid of a fraction, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. That's two over one, two over one. These cancel each. Again, I'm not multiplying by a negative here. I'm multiplying by that two over one. So I have each is less than or equal to negative 44 because I have no need to put my sign. So we're going to put uh, zero here. We can go negative 44 here, 44 here. Okay, I'm going to have a closed circle at negative 44. And I'm not eating the variable, so I'm going to be shading to the left. Last three problems, and then I'm going to let you get started on your homework. For number three, I'm going to multiply by seven. Okay, again, I'm not multiplying by negative, I'm multiplying by a positive seven. So we have n is greater than or equal to negative seven. So going back to the way I like to do it, we put negative seven in the middle, negative five, negative three, negative nine, negative 11. We have a closed circle. Uh, Negative seven, I'm eating the variable, so I'm going to be shading to the right. Now, in number four, watch. I have to multiply by a negative four to get rid of it. So danger, Will Robinson, danger. You have to flip your sign. So I have P, flip my sign, negative 20. So go back the other way and do it. Zero goes in the middle, 28 goes to the right, negative 28 goes to the left. Open circle at negative 28. I'm eating the peak, so I shade to the right. Number five, last but not least. Well, I have this negative here, so I need to divide by a negative nine. Don't forget to flip your sign. So M, flip your sign, 63 divided by negative nine is negative seven. So close circle at negative seven. We're not eating the M, so I'm gonna go ahead and shade to the left. And there you have it. That's multiplying and dividing to solve inequalities. Good luck.